So what we've discussed doing is taking the driveway, and I'll go back up to the road to show you where it's at, but kind of looping the driveway, um, putting in another part of the driveway, looping it in front of the leach field, as you can see the leach field is coming up, and attaching it to this um, current driveway. The purpose for that, that would be our primary driveway, and that way as we drive into the house, um, if we use the current driveway, we would only see, as you drive into the house, you only see the, f the side of the garage. Um, you don't see the front elevation of the house. And so I think that, and we all talked about, probably a good option would be to um, bring the kind of official or main driveway into the house and bring it up here. Um, through these trees here, kind of a natural kind of spot here. Hold on, I'm walking up the hill. So bringing it through this break of trees right here. There are two apple trees here. We probably would have to take one down. Obviously move that boulder. But as you can see, we bring it through these trees around that big oak there and have a gentle curve around the oak between these two trees between there's a far apple tree over here we'd probably take down the dark apple tree you see right in front hopefully leave that oak tree and then bring the driveway a nice curve around and that way we would be able to see the front elevation of the house as you drive in and you could do a straight shot into the dry, into the garage. Otherwise you have to do, otherwise we'd have to, oops, I just realized I put my finger in front of the camera, sorry about that. Um, otherwise what we'd have to do is um, amend the temporary driveway quite a bit um, in order to be able to swing it around and um, create a, the ability to kind of swing into the drive into the garage. Hopefully that all makes sense.